Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we will discuss about introduction to cloud computing. In our today's video we will discuss about basics of cloud computing and to understand the cloud computing we will discuss about different computing models. So let's start. First of all let us have outline of our today's video. First, we'll discuss about what is cloud computing. To understand the cloud computing, you must understand different computing models. So second, we'll discuss about different computing models. In different computing models, first we'll discuss desktop computing. Then we'll discuss client server computing. Then cluster computing. Then grid computing. And at last, we'll discuss about cloud computing. To understand the basic concept of cloud computing, before that you must understand these all the different computing models. So let us start our first point that is uh, what is cloud computing. As per the definition of the cloud computing, cloud computing is the delivery of different services through internet. It means that if you want any service, then you have to just ask to the internet, internet will provide all the services. These resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, software, databases and networking. It means that if you want to store one large size of data inside your uh, computer and in your personal computer if the size is not enough at that time we can store this data on the cloud instead of making your own server you can take server from the cloud also we can directly use different software from the cloud for example if you want to use photoshop we have to purchase the license of the photoshop and then we have to install in our personal computer instead of that you can directly use photoshop from the cloud without installation of photoshop software inside your personal computer another one databases networking etc services you can directly take from the cloud example dropbox is an example of cloud google drive gmail facebook amazon web services IBM cloud etc. These all are the example of the cloud. Let us understand cloud with one basic example. For example Google Drive. Normally we are using Google Drive in our day to day life. In a Google workspace you can still work with Microsoft Office file even if you don't have Office installed. If you have not installed Microsoft Office in our personal computer still we can work with the microsoft office still you can use excel powerpoint word etc that is possible because of google drive so through google drive we can use uh, microsoft office without installing microsoft office inside our pc how it is possible you have to just open browser and you have to open your gmail account in your gmail account there is one symbol you have to click here then you will have a list of google applications inside this google application there is a symbol of drive you have to just click on this symbol then there will be number of options like google docs it is nothing but our word file google sheet it is nothing but our excel google slide it is our powerpoint google forms google drawing google map etc so without installation of our microsoft office still you can work with the microsoft office by using google drive and this is the best example of our cloud so we define cloud computing with one example but you must understand the basic concept of the cloud and to understand the basic concept of the cloud you must understand different computing models so let us discuss different computing models in our computing models there are number of computing model our first one that is a desktop computing second that is client server computing third one cluster computing fourth grid computing and last that is our cloud computing to understand the cloud computing you must understand first what is desktop computing 
what is client server computing what is cluster computing and grid computing then you can easily understand the concept of cloud computing so let us understand one by one this all the different computing models so let us first understand desktop computing in a desktop computing we are using stand alone pc it means that we are not using internet we have one computer and it is a separate stand alone computer we have to install all the tools and software as per the requirement if you want to use any software then we have to purchase we have to purchase license of the software and we have to install in our pc then we can use same way if you want extra resources then we have to purchase this all the resources and we have to connect with our computer so in our desktop computing as per the demand we have to purchase our own extra hardware license of the software etc now next one is client server computing model in a client server computing model uh, we have one server and more than one client normally database is available on the server and our application software runs on the client machine whenever uh, any resource required or any data required at that time your client will send request to the uh, server and server shares its resources applications and data with one or more client computer on the network and the client is computing device that initiate contact with the server in order to make use of shareable resources so if your organization is small at that time we can use this uh, client server computing model but when our organization is very large at that time number of clients are more and our server cannot balance the load so this is the limitation of client server computing the limitation of client server computing is when the number of clients will be increased then the load on server will be increased for example here four or five clients are there after few months or after one year if more than 100 or more than 1000 clients are there at that time our server cannot balance the load at that time we have to replace our server with the high configuration server or we can add more than one server here so in place of one server we can use more than one server or cluster of server and this kind of model is known as cluster computing model so this is the solution of our client server architecture or client server computing model in that single server cannot balance the load so that we are using more than one computer more than one server to balance the load and this cluster of uh, computer uh, we are using to balance the load and this kind of computing model is known as cluster computing model in a cluster computing model many of the computer connected on a network and they perform like a single entity so this is the cluster of computer and it act like a single computer now benefit of a cluster computing cluster computing offers solution to solve complicated problems by providing faster computational speed and enhanced data integrity the connected computers execute operations all together this creating impression like a single system and it is known as virtual machine so these all are the different servers but it acts like a single server to provide the solution of any complicated problems now one thing you need to note down here this all the servers are same and all are on same location it is a cluster of server but these all are on same location in cluster computing now our next that is a grid computing in a grid computing uh, grid co in a grid computing it is same like our cluster computing but in a cluster computing all the servers are or we can say the cluster of servers are on same location but in grid computing these all the servers may be on different different location for example one server is in one city another server is in another city same way different different city these all the soft servers are available on different different city and all are connected each other so it looks like one server or it act like one server same way another difference with this cluster computing is in a grid computing it is a heterogeneous server 
heterogeneous server it means that this all the servers are different types of server for example one server is file server second server is database server third one is web server and fourth one is suppose mail server and these all the servers are connected it looks like a one server it means that it look it act like a one server providing these all the services and this is known as grid computing in a grid computing it can be defined as a network of computers working together to perform a task that would rather be difficult for the single machine so this is the difference between grid computing and the cluster computing now next and our last that is our cloud computing model and the cloud computing model is a combination of cluster computing and grid computing for example these all are the different servers and these all are available on different different location it may be different types of server so we can say once we connect this all the servers then it is known as grid computing another thing is this all the server itself are very large server so inside this server there may be a cluster of server so this server may be a cluster of server this is also a cluster of server this is also a cluster of server this is also a cluster of server and these all are on different different location and all are connected each other and looks like or act like single server and this is known as cloud computing so it is a combination of cluster computing and grid computing now what is definition of cloud computing as per the definition of cloud computing cloud computing is the on demand availability of computer system resources especially data storage and computing power without direct active management by the user user has to just ask the uh, service and cloud will provide the service for example user can ask service for the storage if user want to store large amount of data and the space is not available in local memory at that time user can store data on the cloud user can ask for the server instead of making our own server user can ask uh, for the virtual server from the cloud same way user can ask for the different applications and software right to install inside the software inside our pc instead of that user can ask different software from the cloud in same way can ask for the database this all are the different services from the cloud this is all about basics of cloud computing so in our next video we'll uh, again continue with this cloud computing and we'll discuss in detail about what is cloud computing is so thank you thank you for uh, watching this video thank you again